Hi everyone, my name is Mark Lemon and I've come on here today to support the fantastic Body and Soul Charity. So the Body and Soul Charity carry out lots of fantastic work to support young people and adults struggling with their trauma. And they got in touch with me and asked if I would read one of my children's books to the younger listeners. So today I'm going to read Otis Lemon and the Magic Scooter. So if you're ready, I'm going to begin. Okay, this is a story about an ordinary boy called Otis Lemon. He has a magical story to tell that he would like to share with you all. Otis Lemon lives with his mum and dad in a large city called Bristol. Otis is an ordinary boy in an ordinary world, but when he visits his uncle Professor Bloopy at his workshop, magical things start to happen. Let me tell you a little bit about Uncle Professor Poopy. Professor Poopy wears a long white coat, round spectacles and bright orange shoes. He has long, messy hair and on some days it stands on end resembling a dishevelled peacock. Professor Poopy is always working on exciting inventions. Only last week he made a hot air balloon made with Mrs Poopy's bedsheets and an old bicycle. Unfortunately, the invention did not work very well and Professor Poopy landed on his next door neighbour's house and got stuck on the roof. Mrs Poopy was not very happy at all and made Professor Poopy wash the dirty dishes for a whole week. Now let's get to the story as there is an exciting story to tell. It was a sunny autumn Wednesday afternoon and Otis Lemon had just finished his day at school. Otis was making his way to his uncle's house on his new red BMX bicycle. His uncle had sent Otis a message from the night before using his magical flying poopy play to tell him he had a very special invention to show him. As always, the plane came through Otis's window, circled the room and dropped the message onto Otis's bed. The message read, Visit my workshop after school. If you like flying, you'll think this invention is super cool. Otis arrived at his uncle's house, got out his key, unlocked the door and went inside. Uncle, uncle, are you there? shouted Otis. Yes, Otis, I'm outside my workshop in the garden. Otis went down the long winding garden path to the workshop. Outside the workshop he saw what looked like a colourful scooter, but it had two rocket boosters attached to each side. This isn't just a normal scooter, Otis thought to himself. Ah, hello Otis, thank you for coming, said Professor Poopy. What is this uncle? asked Otis. This, my boy, is my new special invention, the magic scooter. It looks amazing uncle. But what does it do? Let me show you, Otis, as I think it might be best if I try it out first, answered Professor Poopy excitedly. Professor Poopy stepped onto the magic scooter, put on his large yellow flying goggles and pushed the big green button on the handlebar. All of a sudden, the scooter zoomed up into the air, over the houses, above the park and children below and up into the clouds then whizzed back down to number 10 Cherry Tree Road, landing safely back outside the workshop. That was amazing, Uncle, shouted Otis. Can I have a go, please? Professor Poopy pulled off the goggles and scratched his head. Hmm, I'm not sure, Otis. I don't think he's quite ready yet, his uncle said. Oh, please, Uncle, that looked like so much fun. Excited to share his new invention, Professor Poopy nodded, went into his workshop and came out with his favourite toolbox. Professor Poopy pulled out some funny looking tools and after a few tweaks here and there, Professor Poopy had finished fixing the magic scooter. Otis was ready to start his adventure. Otis stepped onto the scooter with great excitement. Now, Otis, all you have to do is push the green button. Let's see what happens this time, Professor Poopy declared with a grin, handing the goggles to his nephew. Otis pushed the green button, and all of a sudden, he flew 
up into the air, over the houses below, and then flew over his school and up into the clouds. Woo-hoo! shouted Otis. Up high in the sky, Otis went through a thick grey cloud. When he came out the other side, he could see a very large aeroplane, and the passengers were all waving excitedly. So Otis waved back. Hello! shouted Otis. All of a sudden, the magic scooter started to zoom back down to the earth below, this time over London, the capital city of Great Britain. Otis flew past Big Ben, around the Houses of the Parliament, along the River Thames, and under the London Bridge. Woohoo! This is amazing! shouted Otis. Otis flew past Buckingham Palace to wave at the Queen of England as she stood on her balcony. It was the Queen's birthday, and there were lots of people cheering and waving flags outside the palace. Hello, Otis, said the Queen, waving at him. Hello, Your Majesty, happy birthday, replied Otis. The magic scooter zoomed up into the clouds again. Not long later, it flew down over Bristol and whizzed back down to number 10, Cherry Tree Road. Uncle, that was an amazing adventure. Otis said, a little breathless as he took off his goggles. Otis, this is just the start of many wonderful adventures, said Professor Poopy with a large smile. After a delicious cup of hot chocolate, Otis left his uncle's house and cycled home. When he reached his house, he walked up the garden path and smelled the wonderful dinner waiting for him on the kitchen table. Otis, your dinner is ready, called his mum as he came through the door. Coming mum, I have so much to tell you about my day, said Otis as he took off his coat and shoes. Yes, yes dear, but first you must eat your dinner please. That night Otis went to bed dreaming of the magic scooter, his trip to London and his wonderful flying adventure. This just was one of many amazing adventures for Otis Lemon and his uncle, Professor Poopy. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that and it gave you a little bit of space to be able to enjoy and be whisked off to London with Professor Poopy and Otis. And I just want you all to keep safe, keep healthy, keep well and uh, yeah, take care. Bye.